Hey Scorpio, this is Evelyn. We're going to pull some cards. Take a deep breath. Sending lots of love and blessings out to you guys. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminines, Mars, the Masculines, Venus. Today is December 2nd, 2020. The reading is for the first half of December. Uh, my information, if you'd like a personal read, is below in the details and my website, twinflames3344.com. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. And if you should like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, sharing and subscribing really helps the business, so if you could do so, I'd really appreciate it. You're always welcome to donate as well. There is a, a PayPal Me button, I believe, in the details there. Um, I also have a CD out there called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames. If you're interested, it's only a dollar for a song. It's by Evelyn Stainthorpe. And here we go. I've been shuffling, so I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. So for everybody watching, the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? For Scorpio, let's clear all blockages to positive energy flow in all auric layers, chakra layers, grounding and galactic cords across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and reality. For the highest good of all is concerned. And fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this is for Scorpio. Best for last. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, first half of December 2020. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. December 2020, first half. All right. So first card for you is the Two of Wands, perhaps choosing a new path. Your challenge, Scorpio, is the Two of Pentacles, perhaps juggling a few things or trying to keep your energy eye, keeping your eye on the prize. You have two twos right out of, the, out of the gate. The foundation for you is the Six of Wands reversed, perhaps feeling like a failure or needy for attention or just doing things under the radar. And recently is the Four of Wands reverse. Perhaps there's some instability at home or moving or ending a marriage. It could also be visiting or coming home, homecoming. Crowning you is the Four of Swords, focusing on your heart, getting a rest, a break. Perhaps um, you just need to take care of your heart more. This also can be 5D medica meditation, connecting. And what's coming up for you is the Ten of Swords reversed, feeling left for dead without anyone to come collect you, except for the innocent Bambi there. This also could be getting a massage. Any kind of back pain and related treatments come up with the Ten of Swords. Also can be a betrayal or ending pain, so it could just be a little physical pain or a betrayal. So you see yourself as the Hierophant, upright. So you could have Taurus in your chart, or maybe you just see yourself as the final word <laughs> and what's around you or how you are seen. You can also see yourself as being very traditional or conventional. What's around you is two of cups reverse, which is the disconnect or somebody at a distance. And the block for you has to do with um, detoxing, the devil, codependencies, addictions. Maybe you have an issue with shadow work or detoxing, rehab perhaps. And then you end up at the Page of Wands, which can be a child. It can be your own inspiration or excitement about something, feeling like a child again, perhaps going on a date. And the connection to what's left hanging in limbo is the sun reversed, perhaps feeling drained or in need of sun or sunlight because it's getting darker now. It's getting very dark. This can be um, uh, overexposed, overradiated as well as just in need of sunshine. It could be a Leo reversed or ego reversed as well. It could be an ego, a Leo out of control. But this is not. This is someone who's upright. So what's left hanging in limbo for you is Nine of Swords, which is suffering in silence, trying to end the nightmare. Because this has been chronic for a while. You're going to get more cards at the end. 
but you won't see them till then. Let's see what you're going to get. And then when the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords reversed. So we're going to give you a little bit of backstory. There's two men here who don't look happy with each other, or they don't look happy with this, the justice. And there's children or inner children loving each other. So we're going to give you a little background there, and then we're going to get started. Okay, we could have a Libra here. But we have a Queen of Swords and a King of Swords reversed with the King of Wands reversed. And we have dysfunctional family or a loss or a misuse of money or funds. There's an imbalance. This could be debt as well. That could be a scam as well with the Six of Pentacles. So here we have the Queen of Swords upright with the light. She's very much in her truth. She perhaps has kids, or this is some a soulmate of yours as Scorpio. Okay, this could be Libra and Scorpio as well. Okay, and then we have two guys who are unhappy: the King of Wands reversed and the King of Swords reversed. So the Libra can be either one. Like if, yeah, just can be a part of either one of them or neither. It's but it's there, the Libra. I mean, we have Libra energy in his chart as well, or it can be kids that are separate from all of these. And these two can be siblings, too, with the um, Six of Cups right there. So it just depends on your situation. But there is family wealth or family business or, or community wealth involved here behind all of this. And there's a home that you're either moving from or it's unstable, either the home or the marriage. Or you're just visiting someone else, someone else's home or coming home. or There's a homecoming because it was just Thanksgiving weekend. You might have just had a reunion or something with the King of Swords reversed. All right, so we're gonna clarify all this. This is the Gilded Tarot that you're looking at, and then we have the Mini Rider Waite, and we're gonna pull an Oracle card at the end as well, at least one, depending on the read. And let's see, why do we have the King of Swords reversed for Scorpio? Why is the King of Swords reversed there with the Queen of Swords upright? All right, this just popped out, so dependence feeling powerless, financial drain, and choosing a new path. So I don't know if the King of Swords is feeling like a financial drain on the Queen of Swords here, or just wanting to choose a new path because maybe their partner is a financial drain to them, and it's not, right now it's not cutting it. Um, this is someone who may have fall, embarrassed herself in front of someone, or fallen from grace, or just fell. And now is weak. Okay. So and that can have to do with the king, why the king of swords is with the king of wands. So maybe a friend who hurt themselves, maybe they were out playing and someone got hurt or doing sports or whatever. Or there could be an animal who has issues right now as well, but it costs a lot of money. So it's like, is it worth it, especially for a pet? Is it worth the surgery? That kind of stuff. But someone fell, fell from grace or was just lacking faith or embarrass themselves. And it could be a parent like giving their kid like some tough love, you know, it's time to straighten up and look at yourself in the mirror. That could be as well. The recent past is the Four of Wands. Why is it reversed? For Scorpio, why is the Four of Wands there reversed? There's some passion here or new creativity coming from a player type of energy. So that looks more like passion. We have Sag and Scorpio and a King of Wands and a King of and a Knight of Swords, both reversed with Leo energy between them or kids. Like these could be too fiery, a couple that's really fiery with out of control kids between, or they these two are the out of control kids, or this is just one out of control kid who's very passionate about something. And the King of Wands is giving him that talk. So one could be Sag, one could be Leo. But there's a lot of fire there and an unstable home. So it also could be, you know, a husband and wife with a third party between them who may be Leo energy. That could be as well. Or the King of Swords could be that one in between because we have the King of Wands here. But we have a couple here and a King of Wands. So let's see where this goes. The foundation is the Six of Wands reversed. Why is that? For Scorpio. Okay, third party through work. Or this could be financial issues or not getting along at work, right? 
feeling like a failure, not getting attention that you usually get, maybe not getting along or losing money, and then you don't get the money, the attention that you normally get, that the rich guy gets, right? There could be a split here, a lie or divide, or a need to cut through the BS, cut to the chase, to get to the truth here and announce a split, perhaps. All right, there could be issues with a business. Maybe you need to close a business. Um, there's definitely some kind of split or divide or lie, and it has to do with a business not doing well or not getting along there, not getting the usual amount of attention that you get. And this is someone working very hard who's on their last leg. So it could be trying not to um, close a business, but it, you know maybe it's just not working. The central energy is the two of wands. Two of wands, two of wands, two of wands. All right, we have the king of swords upright here. And here's the feeling like that failure, doing something under the radar. But he's upright here, whereas he's, he's reversed over here. So this is him choosing a new path, right, after getting over some kind of loss, regret, guilt, or shame. Um, but it looks like he's still getting over something. The world being upside down could be that, but choosing a new path and the challenge being the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles at night, feeling the injustice of it all. Um, having a lot of options and seeing the one. The injustice of knowing the one and unable to reach it right now. It's like having something up on the shelf where you can't get to it. The injustice of knowing the one that you want but in a, in, unable to get it. And it's really apparent at night. Trying to keep your eye on that prize. This, the crowning energy here is focusing on your heart or getting rest or a break or sleep time. Connecting in the 5D, meditating. We have the Queen of Wands, unhappy. Or this is somebody unhappy with the Queen of Wands. So that could be you, unless you're the Queen of Wands. But she's upright. So she may be going on a break try to find some self-satisfaction because someone's not happy here, whether it's her or you. Being very present in the moment and standing up for self. Okay, so one person's unhappy and other person's defensive. And here is you, here's whoever this is. It doesn't have to be you. I mean, you're seeing, it seems like you're very stable right here, but someone feels left for dead or just in pain whether it's back pain or something else or betrayal. There's jealousy here or feeling rejected, fighting, competing with the Queen of Swords reversed. And here's the Queen of Swords upright. So in the recent past, they were switched. She was reversed and he was upright and now it's the other way. So it looks like some jealousy or insincerity and a fight. And the Queen of Swords, very uncomfortable with that. Maybe one person likes to fight and the other one doesn't. So, why are you the Hierophant? Healing from heartbreak or separation or perhaps a surgery. Finding peace away with vacation or perhaps just away from work, taking break which is coming up here too, a need for a rest, taking a break, and that could be a break in a relationship too, but it looks like it's taking a break from working, although this could just be trying to get your ducks in a row, so maybe taking a break from a heartbreak or separation and trying to get all your ducks in a row so that you can get away. And then we have the King of Cups reverse, which definitely can be Scorpio energy. So there could be a marriage involved here where the King of Cups reverse isn't happy, and we have, again, the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles reversed is here. And there's some kind of disconnect or at a distance between the King of Cups reversed and a Taurus, perhaps. So they're either not seeing eye to eye or taking a separation or a split, literally. Or this is somebody at a distance, not face to face. And then, all right, so there's emotional fulfillment, perhaps at a distance. Um, this is family and a home. But it's like it's an illusion because the two inside the home aren't getting along. 
or these two are at a distance and it looks like a separation and a marriage the king of king of cups is reversed taurus is upright so if you have taurus in your chart you could be the queen of pentacles here so it might have to do with the division of assets she looks more stable he looks more bummed out trying to get his ducks in a row or this could just be complaining about going on vacation that there's not enough money in a marriage not seeing eye to eye about the money or where to go or literally this is another connection at a distance okay because there's this is one family energy of family business legacy right with the ten of pentacles reversed and then we have an, the ten of cups upright this is an emotionally happy family in a stable home but without all the money here so it's like two different energies here with the knight of pentacles reversed who's got a very um, they're upside down though they're stuck or stubborn refusing to work or move again there's a disagreement here about whether to move or not whether to go on vacation or not someone's very impatient losing their patience feeling imprisoned trapped anxiety and there could be two children here we've got a knight of pentacles reverse and a page of pentacles upright and this is like that good student energy and then we have the teacher and student energy right here so it could be a teacher student thing here why is the block for you the devil reversed why is that that's it definitely can be detoxing why do you have a block with detoxing or about a capricorn well the world's upside down or wanting to get closure with pisces reversed aquarius upright maybe one gets all the attention the other one feels left behind with their world upside down and there could be a third party situation or social distancing, bad influences, gossip. You know, this is no joy in coming together. This is a world upside down or in another world. And then here's the one who gets all the attention. And these are two people who are not happy coming together in detox, perhaps. So whether you're in detox, dealing with detox for work or with a child and dealing with detox. There could be one of those situations there. And there may be decisions need to be made whether what you what you value. Is it the home you value more? The ability to spend more money? Or the emotional behind it? But there could be Capricorn versus Taurus energy. You're getting coming up more Taurus energy. And again, after this Three of Cups was coming um, the Tower, which is Scorpio energy. Suffering in silence. Perhaps running away from chaos or a breakdown, a hit and run. And that could be involving an, an emperor. That could be a cheating scenario. So why do we have the Page of Wands up right there? This could be a divorce, a break away from a contract, religion, establishment, societal norms, thinking outside the box, or being very much more spiritual. And this could be a child of yours if you're not if you're not the child Scorpio. This is someone who's manifesting big time. They're very um, they're very inspired, but they're coming up as non-traditional, and you're coming up as traditional. So you may not just you may not agree with your child. Um, and then there's a king of pentacles who may be assisting the child. Or he may be inspired by those out in the cold wanting to help, you know, doing social work and stuff like that. Even though he's the king of pentacles, he's got lots of money. He may be looking to do social work. Or to get some people off the streets and this could actually be this page of wands looking to be the king of pentacles and that's what he wants to do for a living he could just be starting out very passionate passionate why is the sun reversed there may be some death 
or an ending here of lovers, but this can also just be Scorpio implementing a new plan, perhaps with Leo reversed, or this could be ego death too with the sun reversed. Or it, could, it could be an illness, just feeling drained. And if there was a death, that's why you're feeling drained. It could be a death of a lover and trying to implement a new plan, how to go forward financially. Or it's a Scorpio lover implementing a plan with Leo perhaps reversed. And this, the page of, of wands could be a Leo. So the lover's card can be the affection for your child. It doesn't have to be a sexual thing. It really, for me, has to do with affection. And this is somebody implementing a new plan or strategizing. Perhaps not sleeping at night but rising above or awakening and coming out to the page of wands reversed frustrations. And then the suffering and silence at night. Why is that coming up? Juggling, performing, keeping up the facade with clarity coming in, which then can knock you off balance, right? Overwhelming and disconnect perhaps from a soulmate, a friend, or this could be childhood issues. This also could be children and their mother having a really hard time. And then next to the next to the Empress is the um, tower, which can just represent that you have Taurus and um, Scorpio in your chart. This also can be a sudden event, an event, explosion, an eruption, an epiphany, an orgasm of the Empress there. But it looks more like, you know, this is suffering in silence, the nightmare of the sudden events but again, this could be, you know, lying, cheating, stealing. And a breakdown, like again, the hit and run is coming up with the uh, uh, emperor. This could be a cheating scenario. And someone can't believe they did it. Right? Because both the emperor and empress are upright on either end. Um, but there's energy of cancer and Scorpio. And definitely, you know, a masculine-feminine relationship here. And somebody running away from someone else. It, but there could be a, a vehicle, an accident, a car accident. Where maybe the empress hit the emperor. Or somebody hit the emperor and then the empress suddenly finds out about it or a kid runs home to tell the empress what the emperor did. But they're both, the older people are both upright. There's some, there could be um, a cancer energy. But again, and it also could just be where the emperor broke down in his car and then the child has to run to get the empress. And there's some kind of sudden event that blows her mind. So, and it could be any anything, really. It could be running from the scene of a crime or an accident, and the parents can't believe they did it. Yeah, it's kind of weird right there. Because right after this, so after the suffering and silence, um, being very present to the fact that that ship has now sailed, this can be imports and exports. There's Chinese food and, and pot coming up here, as well as the Viking ship there. So all of those energies, somebody could be pirating. And then we have two left out in the cold, right? This can represent exile, destitution, injury, or illness, having a lot of hospital visits or office visits, and running out of money. That ship has sailed, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles upright. So, why is the Three of Wands there for Scorpio? The Page of Cups reversed, perhaps feeling rejected, vulnerable, shy, or spoiled and entitled, or both. And this can be a mother and child as well, right? Being very present to the fact that that ship has sailed. And this is a Cancer energy right above. So this child...
may have been involved somehow with the emperor and the empress. Or that can be their child. It could be a Pisces energy. But then there's a queen. This could be a Scorpio mom and a Pisces child being present to a ship sailing. And then we have somebody left out in the cold, which can just be these two feeling left out in the cold. Maybe the, the spouse left or the parents left, or maybe they lost. Now they don't have any grandparents left. There can be that kind of feeling. There's a disconnect here and hanging out or someone at a distance, not seeing eye to eye out in the cold. And then the Knight of Pentacles, that loyal, humble servant, which can be an earth energy. You could have Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Starting over in love with the messenger of truth coming in. So this could be a message that suddenly comes in about the worst is over. And now the bliss sets in. So after too worried about being left out in the cold, perhaps without parents now or without a husband now, a mother and child, hanging out in disconnect, not seeing eye to eye. And then the, pay, then the Knight of, of Pentacles comes in, starting over in love with the Knight of Swords. The worst is over. The bliss is setting in as the devil comes. Temptation waves. But this also can be a Capricorn in bliss. Okay. Again, dumping a load, dumping a burden, responsibilities, confessing. This could be swearing in as well or just, you know, confessing, I swear that really happened. This is someone rushing in to tell them. Like that someone took them down. And this is someone smiling because they, they don't care if, any, you know, they got hurt. In energetic exchange, in the slowdown or twist of fate, Letting go to make repairs or make amends. Playing hardball or holding back time, money, and effort. And then the bottom of the deck would be this. is This is some kind of debt, scam, inequity, not sharing, and a secret's out or someone not using their intuition or needing to heed their own advice. And then this is bad news or silence or a child who's acting up lying, spying, spreading rumors, and that would be coming into this read. So I'm going to pull an energy deck card for you. I just want to review again all the signs here. You have Libra upright, Taurus upright, Capricorn reversed, Leo reversed, and that's it for the majors. And it may have to do with your marriage if you're married. If not, it's your Taurus in your chart. Or you just being a very traditional person. Or, or a certain religion. Feeling like a failure. And disconnect, not seeing eye to eye. Feeling left for dead. Perhaps just you and your child. Left out in the cold. Maybe feeling homeless. And maybe someone left you there. Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, 37, is the King of Cups. And 41 is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, the 41 is the Ace of Cups. So it's, it's, it's very loving energy here. Third chakra is all about your confidence and shining your light. And the, set, the crown chakra is all about opening up to your higher self in the, in the etheric realms. And then taking a step back to see a, a larger perspective of the world. The bottom of the deck is another winged creature here, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, which is the, sac the sacral chakra is the sexual and creative chakra. And we have the 36 of the Ten of Wands, the Atlas weight of the world upon your shoulders energy. So really feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world with financial constraints. There des definitely feels like destitution here with two people, a mother and child, out in the cold. This could be a mother and child out in the cold. And it could be a grown child, like, like a mother and grown child. King of Cups. And again, Pisces came up, and this could be Scorpio feminine or vice versa. You know, King of Cups could be Scorpio 
with a daughter perhaps, but perhaps taking a, a step back and taking a, a, a grander perspective of what's going on in the world, to wanting to be more loving and not so financially oriented. So I don't see it as a really negative outcome here at all. Just perhaps a big change in perspective on what kind of life you want to lead. And I'm going to pull a Romance Angel card for you, too. Maybe wanting to live a more humble life. It could be too... But this could be a child deciding this, and this is why the mother and child aren't getting along. You know, maybe they educated them, and now they, they're they totally not wanting to go for the money. They're wanting to go for the social work. And then there could be a parent who has a problem with that. Let's see. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Forgiving and learning. And you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. So there might have been some deception with your child because there's those next two cards that children are affecting your love life, perhaps. And then we have the bottom of the deck, which is pay attention to the red flags. So your signs and synchronicities. Pay attention. The signs are cautioning you. And there's chemistry here. So there's some kind of... So someone might have cheated in a marriage or had to leave a marriage... And maybe the mother and child aren't getting along now. So I don't know who left the marriage. I'm not really seeing a lot about the spouse. I'm just seeing feminine. I mean, this definitely could be a more Taurusy, Scorpio, masculine. But Taurus can also just be in your energy because we're the Queen of Pentacles family right there. In the beginning of the read, we have two men, both reversed, so that could be the cheating scenario, right, where the feminine had two men, there's a king of swords and a king of wands. I'm not saying that they cheated, but they may really have romantic feelings towards someone else, and it comes out with the relationship. And then someone's left for dead. There's definitely a disconnect, not seeing eye to eye, and you are blocked regarding detox, detoxing, addictions, codependencies, and then you end up here with a choice of path. Or no, the page of um, wands, the child, is inspired but drained. Or it's, or it's someone with Leo in their chart, but it's not their sun sign. And uh, suffering in silence. So it could literally be the child that's suffering, not the Scorpio adult. Um, perhaps that ship has sailed. Maybe someone left the child in a relationship. It could be a grown child. And now the mother and child are feeling left out in the cold. But there is help here. The, the Knight of Pentacles is here. Like that could be a Capricorn or an air sign friend who's coming in to help. Help is on the way in a really practical way, though. It's not like the rescue effort. They're willing to give you some help, but you have to do the work. It's that kind of energy. All right, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful to you. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. And as always, rise and be love. I'll see you soon. Bye.